Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are going to take a look at Finger Fiddle uh, by Matthias Demacron. I hope you've got his name right. If I have Matthias, I'm really sorry. Anyway, Finger Fiddle. It's been out for a little while. Just had a nice update. Makes things loads better. Now, as you can see, Finger Fiddle is uh, audio bus compatible, which we shall get to in just a sec. But first of all, we'll take a little tour of the app. We'll have a look around how it sounds. <laughs> So it's a it's like a violin simulator, which is very very cool. Uh, you play it like a violin. So uh, obviously, for purposes of making this video, you can pick the uh, iPad up or your iPhone or whatever you and try and play it like a. Now, uh, like I said, unlike other apps, some other apps like this kind of similar thing, this is all, all geared to go ready for audio bus and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed this, and I built a little track, and I'm going to do some overdubbing and stuff, and I'm going to take you through the preset. So this, at the moment, is here you go. Like uh, So the basic app, you get uh, a couple of instruments, and then you have some IAPs, which you can purchase. So you have... If you get the whole thing, you have access to all these instruments here. So you've got double bass, violin, concertino, uh, viola, cello, double bass. So at the moment we are on just the standard violin. So you see how it works by how you would kind of play the fingerboard, uh, the bowing. Because it's audio bus compatible, of course, you could build up your whole string quartet. So one of the brilliant things about this is you can hide that. You can choose your scales here, like this. You see, I'm on natural minor now and A because that's for my little song. And then you can preset your different scales there. So you, if I was to, uh, so let me see, preset three, presets, preset three, and I'm in A natural minor now. So I have like say C major. <laughs> And then uh, C harmonic minor. And I'm back to my A natural minor. So like anything like this, the better you play it, the better you're going to get it. It's, the more you play it, the more you practice. And you can, honestly, you can make this sound very, very realistic indeed. More realistic than just kind of playing the keyboard. Anyway, so you saw what we get there. So here is our main, main output. And the settings are brilliant for this. So this is very, very cool. Okay, so it has, uh, you can rotate the interface, but because if you were playing it like thinking you the interface would be rolling everywhere, it has a switch. So you just switch the switch and it will rotate the interface for you and then it's locked into that position. So we just rotate it back. Here. And then you can have the fingerboard position at the bottom. Okay, you can show scale settings or take them off. And then you can have beginner mode, which puts a little keyboard. So for more practicing there, so you can get to know your way a little bit further around, so take it off beginner mode. And then you can have the range in semitones here, you see. You can make it bigger or smaller. And then the width is larger, smaller. It's so it's so controllable and so settable, upable. So, you know, you have your note positions there. Now, that's good, because if you're a violinist or you understand violins, you're going to be able to work your way around the fretboard here. 
Like that, but because I'm not a violinist and I would like to see the notes, that would be great. So you show note names and then octave number. And then play in tune and then you can uh, force the bow range to soft and strong. So it's exactly like a violin. So much thought and effort has gone into this. Uh, let's see, and then you have 3D Touch. Now that's only if you've got the, you know, the iPad Pro and stuff like that. So you can either press harder and stuff like that. But the fact that it's there is very cool. Now reverberation, we have loads of types of reverberation here. So at the moment we're in large room. Let's go, let's increase the reverb. And the fact that you get a load of different Let's take that down a little bit there. Options for reverbs there. So yeah, play cathedral, large chamber, medium hall. It, you, you know, so you have a good range. And it's good. And then you can do custom string tuning as well. And then there's uh, in, uh, miscellaneous stuff like you can launch the tutorial, reset the settings, restore the purchases. So very, very cool. If we have a listen to a couple of the other instruments, let's have a listen to the viola here. <laughs> See if we go down to the bottom, we start to get harmonics. So here we have cello. going to pop back to violin uh yeah i mean you've heard mainly so i mean double bass let's have a quick little double bass right i'm going to go back to violin okay so and then we're going to go to audio busting you see what i've done here so i have a finger fiddle going through no effect and into audio bus and it's sitting there and i do have a stereo delay on but i'm gonna just play you i did this little track yesterday in in, in gadget using the new gladstone drum kit so i'm gonna play it and then i'm gonna overdub some very cool violin solo stuff over the top of that just so you get an idea that you like you know of using it in kind of a rocky kind of environment type thing So you get the idea. That's what's uh, what I'm going to overdub now. This second, this second track here, this was just a, 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 a double bass I put in. So 
So that's that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is switch on the stereo delay I have set up, just a standard one from inside Cubasis. Sounds very nice. Now I would suggest also, here's a, here's a good tip, if you're going to use finger fiddle with an extra effect, okay, particularly a reverb or a dub delay or something like that, So there's our, there's our delay. Now, it's not so bad with that. I want a quite a long delay anyway. But I would suggest that you turn uh, off your, your reverb, okay? Otherwise, if you're using reverbs, you're going to get a clash of reverbs, which is going to sound a little bit weird and maybe produce some strange feedback and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just play the track and then we're going to, I'm just going to fiddle around and see what sounds okay and then I'll record it and then basically we're done. You get an idea of of how finger fiddle sounds and it's very great. I, I, I would recommend, seriously, if you want a, a, a good, very, very, very good violin for anything you're doing, otherwise sort of the string instruments, if you really want to make the effort and you want to build up a complete uh, violin quartet type thing you're gonna you're gonna love this anyway so take out the microphone and just play the track and have a, have a mess around with it so you can get an idea sounded okay so i'm gonna have a mess now so we, we, i think i've got my i'll just check actually new i need that on but do i no not really don't really need that on do i okay so back we go
I thought that sounded cool beans, right? He said, stop, stop it, stop. Go back. So everything seems to be recorded properly, which is very cool. We can disarm all that now and let's have a quick listen. Of course, we could add other effects now. We could add distortion. go guys there we have it finger fiddle um from Matthias de Macron um uh, or de Macron I'm not sure how he how he pronounces his name he was a very nice chap anyway so uh, there you go there you go you basically get a load of instruments if you make the, the IAPs of course um which are well worth it you know especially if you want to do this kind of thing if you want to build up very realistic make the effort you know you can build up each track separately uh, I mean, it's it's easy because you can use your 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 uh, beginner thing, which I'd use the well the, the so I can see what notes are what. God, I, I wouldn't be able to do it without the notes. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. I was going to learn violin once, you know, when I was little, but I'm left-handed, so it was all a little bit confusing at first. So we decided not to bother. I wish I had known. Anyway, um, yeah, and you can see that you get a great range of control, which is which is absolutely fabulous in an app like this, and. And uh, Matthias is only going to make this app better and better. So he's a developer. The, the, he's on he's on the ball with the stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, so if you've enjoyed this, um, like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Visit us at soundtestroom.com. Um, and generally, uh, have a nice day. Please, uh, if you visit the Soundtestroom, uh, please retweet stuff. That's good for us because, you know, it get less more people know what's going on. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys later.